So, Gavin, when you were just talking about we need new models, maybe new drugs to treat mental illness, there is this concerted effort now mm -hmm. looking at um, psychedelics specifically uh, to treat depression. Yeah. yeah we'll be, I mean, we've been here before with psychedelics. In the 60s and 70s, there were trials for all sorts of things. There was a lot of optimism for a while, and they're helping alcoholism. Um, they're, so, it's, they're, they're still very, very controversial territory because they're so context dependent. So the number of people who have a bad trip is, is substantial and significant and uh, still of the order of a few percent, I think. But that's a lot when you get into the orders of, of treating a lot of people. So um, using these kind of things is really hard to disentangle from the context of being in this wonderful place where you're in a protected space, where you've got a dedicated therapist and where everybody's around you trying to help you get through this particularly traumatic experience. If you reproduce that without the drug, uh, you would probably find quite good outcomes too. You know, I'm thinking of a parallel way back um, 70, 80 years ago, there were some really positive um, results started coming out about using insulin shock therapy Remember, when they just discovered insulin and they discovered how to, uh, that they could use it, it had these incredibly powerful effects on the body. It was resurrecting people who were on the brink of death with diabetes. They started to use it in mental illness and they had very good results. And then later on, they realized that actually they were getting good results because of all the extra care and attention these people were getting who were having insulin shock therapy. So I'm sure it has a very powerful experience for some. And a lot of people have been through a traumatic experience, self-medicate with hallucinogens. Absolutely, because it transforms the world. It gives them a magical transformation of the world. But I'm not sure how useful it's going to be long term as a psychiatric drug for the majority of my patients I see in mental distress. Yeah. Can I say, I was smiling because my wife is a psychotherapist and there is a, as, as you, there is a huge movement here in the United States about this, about what you, you're saying. And uh, there is a documentary called From Shock to Awe which you can get at Netflix, which is about soldiers being treated with severe, very severe PTSD and with ayahuasca. And they do go through a bad trip because the whole process of this ritual is to go through a bad trip because the bad trip is the washing out of all the bad experience that you have accumulated over the years. And those fellows, they were hardly functioning in society really became transformed. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> the Michael Pollan book, obviously, right? The uh, How to Change Your Mind, which is where this thing really started to catch fire. And I'm not the ex expert at all, as you mentioned, <laughs> you know, but uh, there seems to be a lot of very serious people, including uh, Roland Griffiths at Johns Hopkins University, who is one of the best medical schools in the country that has been doing this. And it's kind of interesting and yeah, very yeah. promising in many ways. No, it's, it's fascinating. And, but I'm really interested in the language you're using too. So we'll, let's come back to it in four or five years' time and see whether the effects were enduring and see if there's ways of disentangling just the drug from all the extra care from these brilliant and wonderful and very therapeutic and very powerful metaphors like washing out all the misery you know, that, that kind of cathartic thing. People used exactly the same terminology for ECT when it came in. It was you know, electroconvulsive therapy, you know, that it, would, it, it gave a catharsis. Um, so, but yeah, that let's see. Not, I, but that didn't give you a sense of awe and connection with the universe in a benevolent, <laughs> higher spiritual way. No, no, but what they, thought, what they said it did was it gave you amnesia for all the miserable aspects yeah. of your life.